let us offer our consecration to the Lord. Lord, we offer up to you this day, and we ask that we may glorify your name as always as we begin the 25th week of Ordinary Time on this Monday morning. This Monday morning that also we hopefully, if everything is on schedule here in the Boston area, get to see the Orange Line open up again. So we remember all that you have done to lead us to draw closer to you. We ask you to bless those who worked very hard over the past month to make sure that our transportation system is back in place and let us glorify your name in all we do. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Well, today is, in fact, it's September 19th. It's one of the rare times that I say the actual date, but as it turns out, uh, this is a special date because this is the day that the Orange Line is supposed to open. For those of you who are not from the Boston area, don't know what we're talking about, what that means is the major transportation system, public transportation system in the Boston area is called the T which stands for the MBTA, the Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority, but we call it the T. And one of the elements of the T is the subway system that we call the Orange Line because it's orange. (laughs) Very simple. We're not like New York where everything's the B line and the A line and the the whole bit. Uh, This is the, it's by colors and you have the red line, the orange line, the blue line, the green line, the silver line. Reminds me of a story of a cousin of mine who was working as a bus driver and someone came up to him and asked what color was the silver line. Dead serious. He was he was at the airport. Dead serious. He says, what color is the silver line? And he said, is that's a trick question? And I guess the p- person didn't particularly a- appreciate that. But it was obviously, yes, the silver line is the bus system and the silver and the bus is silver. So anyway, uh, that's true. But we have these various lines. Well, our orange line has been under construction over the past month, basically on an emergency level because of several breakdowns that they had prior to that. So finally, as it turns out, they had to... To shut down the orange line for a month where they could do the major repairs they needed to do. So this has been a big experience for us. Traffic has been heavy. The signs all around have been saying, you know, make sure you plot your your uh, commute uh, properly, knowing that there's going to be more people on the road and everything else. So we are back to today. Everything should be on schedule for us to be back and online with the orange line. So we'll see how that goes. I think the green line also had some work, but I think that should be done today. The green line also, it's the trolley line through the system. And and from, I believe it was Government Center. If you know anything about Boston, Government Center is in the middle of the city. And it's this big, huge gray building, a city hall, which actually looks like I've said to the day it was constructed back in 1968, I think it was, uh, that it looks like it's upside down. So anyway, you got the city hall in the center of the city and there's government center. And I believe it's from government center north. They had a work on it, which goes into Somerville. So this is a really big day for those of us in the Boston area, especially for those of us like myself who absolutely love the T. If you happen to be listening to this program and you work for the T, just know I'm one of the people who absolutely loves the T. So I'm a little disappointed. I'm a lot disappointed that they had to shut down the T. But, you know, I'm probably one of the people who really does love love the tea a lot and there's a lot of us around here and uh, we also have a commuting system called the commuter rail and that's been uh, you know running fine that's actually run by the government of france it's a company called keolis which is run by the government of france so we had to switch trains i think it was that one train was an express express train so we had to get off at a stop and then switch trains to go back to the stations that they missed one of the stations so anyway we get on we get off the train we're waiting for the next train but because of some construction again and this doesn't happen all the time just happen to happen that the outbound train no the inbound train was on the outbound track So we weren't able to switch. And I remember I was talking to someone who was like, well, that's what you get for the government. Well, you know, our our tea runs fairly well. But he said that. And I said, well, you have to remember you're talking about France. He says, what are you talking about? I says, the commuter rail is run by the government of France. And he said, well, merci beaucoup. So anyway, a little bit of story of why today is so important. I don't know if it's still the case 
Uh, this used to be Talk Like a Pirate Day because of Dave Barry. I don't know if he still has it, but if it is, this is the day that everyone talks like a pirate. It's Talk Like a Pirate Day. So anyway, uh, we've got an interesting set of readings. We're going to be looking at the book of Proverbs, obviously a little less than normal because I just spent about a quarter of the program talking about what's going on in the Boston area. But in any case, uh, we're going to look at the book of Proverbs this week. And uh, we got a great set of Proverbs for today. Now, it's basic, simple wisdom. And in a sense, you could even call it very simple. I don't know how, what's, the, what's the right expression. Very simple, common sense wisdom. But when we're talking wisdom, we're just talking about the things to keep in mind that make things work well and to make your life run well and when to, you know, uh, great case of wisdom which is not in today's reading is you know do not respond to any criticism for 24 hours so if you write a critical letter to someone let it alone and don't mail it until you've read it 24 hours later that's a form of wisdom well it's that kind of wisdom obviously not that particular one but that form of wisdom that you're going to find in the book of proverbs so we're going to look at uh one set of wisdom coming from chapter three from the book of proverbs and if you have your daily missile or you're looking at bible.usccb.org you can check out what the proverb is we'll be right back right after this i want to call your attention to catholic tv which offers great faith-filled family-friendly programming 24 hours a day you can find your cable channel at www.getcatholictv.com and you can watch online on the free apps or check out the youtube channel channel daily mass rosaries the divine mercy chaplet and the our lady of perpetual help novena are all available online and on demand check out catholictv.com and don't forget our own website catholicaudiomedia.com that's catholicaudiomedia.com you can check out our website check out the archives of the show check out our Substack newsletter um, and I'm going to do a little bit more with that but I've started to do some stuff with the Substack newsletter including some comments on some of the news items remember where I get my news items is not the mainstream news uh, it's actually Uh, I get my news from a lot of alternative sources. I've explained to you that before, but we're going to start doing that. You can, like I said, listen to the archives this year. You can all kinds of things over there. You can let other people know where to hear the program. CatholicAudioMedia.com. Well, anyway, uh, we are talking about the book of Proverbs. So if we look at some of the Proverbs that we see in the book today, you are the reading today, you can see some of the basic things that are there. For example... Do not plot evil against your neighbors when they live at peace with you. There's another one there. Do not envy the violent. Do not choose their ways. I just finished watching the entire series, which usually people, what is known as binge watch, which watch the entire series of of season five, not the entire season, the entire series, the entire season rather of season five of Cobra Kai. It's one program that I do watch all of the shows and I've done it since season one. They do an excellent job and there is that tension throughout the entire series and the original movies of the two forms of dojos, which is where they teach karate. Uh, the the one form which is rooted in no mercy and just uh, being vengeful and aggressive and the whole idea which at times does fit you know the the best uh, uh, best defense is good offense but over the top and then the other dojo which is really based on a peace peacekeeping form of karate and peacemaking form of karate and of course this is all part of the story it's been part of the story since the original movie when daniel larusso was i think 16 and johnny his nemesis was around the same age the two uh, actors in the entire cast does an outstanding job i think it's rated tv 14 but it's that tension right there that is the center of the entire series those two forms of understanding those who are violent in all they do who may succeed in the short run 
and the proverb saying, never envy those. Because, yes, they may succeed in the short run, but they always fail in the long run. I remember when I was in junior high school, there was a, a, a student, and this was in the eighth grade, this was a Central Junior High School in Weymouth, Massachusetts, and there was a, a bullies were there. So I was a victim of quite a few of them. But anyway, uh, there was a, a guy who was constantly bullying this other student by the name of Jerry constantly bullying stop constantly bullying and jerry was not someone who would fight back as many people who are bullied and my own experience do not are not good at fighting back or don't fight back and it was just constant and then one day it was really funny this guy was just making fun of jerry and jerry was opening a door and he turned around and he turned around in such a way that the other student fell and broke his wrist well, that was the end of anyone picking on Jerry, especially this particular guy, because not only did he break his wrist, but he spent the rest of the school season uh, with a cast. Now, Jerry never attempted to attack, never attempted to envy anyone in their ways, but it just worked out that as it is said, what goes around comes around. And that was one of the stories. And it, th that was back in 1972, I think. And I still remember that. And that means it was 50 years ago, if I have my math right, which generally I don't. So you can see how that proverb uh, kind of plays itself out. We'll talk more tomorrow. If you would like to support our program, please consider a donation to St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts. There are several ways to consider this. One is to purchase any of our merchandise, which you can find at the shopping tab at catholicaudiomedia.com. That's catholicaudiomedia.com. There are coffee mugs there. There's also my latest book, Encounter Christ in Your Humanity, all of which you can find at the shopping tab at catholicaudiomedia.com. You can also donate to the show directly through either the Donate tab, also at CatholicAudioMedia.com, or by sending a donation through the U.S. Postal Service with your questions and comments at 43 Holton Street, Alston, Massachusetts, 02134. That's St. Anthony Parish, 43 Holton Street, Alston, Massachusetts, 02134. Finally, the best way you can support our parish is to attend Mass on Sundays at 10 o'clock and be a part of our parish. We thank you for any support you would like to give to St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts, the sponsoring parish for this media outreach to Catholics and other Christians in the WROL, WEZE, -E, and podcast listening audience. In Cristo vivimos.